Welcome everybody, I am Angry Annie, and this is Nekopara, also known as Cat's Paradise. Uh, I was recommended this by a friend who said, uh, yeah, you like cats, you like this. Um, it's not quite what I was expecting, but I'm going to go ahead and get this started here and see... Hey, first time running Thank you. Play it in English. English. Shuritsimasu! Okay. Oh, great. It's the start of, uh, po Pokemon, uh, uh, never mind. Woo! Should be most of the boxes, then. Let the Minitrek disappear from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was ni quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Oh, well, yeah, you get that in Casho. Or Casho? Cashew? Like cashew nut? I don't know. Day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have any signage yet, except for the sign right up there that says, I think, patisserie something. Yeah. Brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. Um. Actually, I I don't know if. I'm not quite sure I would define that look as western. It's kind of a generic look, really. Large window with left a lot of sunlight in. I think you see two large windows. And finally, there was the words that display the name of the bakery, La Soleil. La Soleil. Okay. So the proper French article, Le, it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. Yeah. Anyone who knows French knows what that means. I don't know French. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Okay. Now that I'm on my own, I have to do my best! I softly murmured to myself. <laughs> okay, great, I'm glad we're getting <laughs> the full internal monologue here. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. Actually, that's a lot like what I do in, when I'm in public. I'll say things out loud that have absolutely no context to the internal monologue. I was going to start completely anew despite the stature of my family's name and everything that had happened up until now. Oh boy. Okay, so Cashel has family issues. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. So apparently his family did something really, really bad, and he moved far, far away to get away from whatever it was. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still. Although I was a bit worried. You know, I like this guy's uh, philosophy. Because this is kind of exactly what I did. I moved nearly a hundred miles away from where I started and started a completely new life, and I am happier than I could ever possibly imagine. And I am a bit worried. The thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. Okay, so... Alright! In any case, I'd better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. Stepped into the new-smelling bakery. Ah, oh, so it's new construction then? Patisserie La Soleil. Oh, this is nice. What's with this big box? Uh, wait. In the large. Actually, I see two big boxes. In fact, okay. He did, in fact, recognize the fact that there are two boxes. Uh, I can't read kanji all that well, so I have no idea what these things say. Uh... Shim that's something shimasu. Uh, something batera. Something, I don't know. Fragile, delicate. Okay, absolutely the side of. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. Hmm. <laughs> the warnings are going overboard. Thank you, I, I agree. They were getting annoying. Well, stop looking at them then. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. Well,. You don't even know what's in them. First off, the boxes look like they came from my house. How, how could you tell that? Well, see, I could tell if boxes came from my house because they'd have cat scratches all over them. See, I'm a cat owner. That's why a game called Cat's Paradise was somewhat of an interest to me. If these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... Oh.
Uh, Han Shun. That's a sneeze. Now the box is talking. Great. Oh. There's a cat in the box. Well, let's let the cat out of the box. It's the cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Uh... <laughs> so you're, you're not doing a very good job of fooling anybody right at the moment. I see air holes. I like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocolate? Oh, great. So he knows whoever or whatever is in this box. Ah! It's a cat demon! Oh my god! Gochijisama? What the hell does that mean? We saw each other at home yesterday, you know. Oh, I'm starting to starting to get an idea of why Casho's na uh, family name is in such disrepute. Well, animals have really good instincts, although I don't know that I would classify this as an animal. Boom, boom. Um, wow. <laughs> I, uh, well, after the title screen, I, I should have, I should have expected this. Compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with what was in front, with only what was in front of her. Uh, sounds like my cats. <laughs> Well, I guess that's how you would describe Chocolate. While I was getting ready to move, I did I did wonder why I didn't see you. Oh, box two is also sneezing. Great. Hey! Come on out of the- Oh! Wow! Oh my god, oh, I used to have a cat named, uh, Saki got her from a friend, and this girl reminds me of, of her. Although I, I don't, I don't know that she's. Why is Vanilla here too? Uh, Chocola and Vanilla. Wherever Chocola is, I am too. So, you're a pair, you go where... Don't dislike tight spaces. Mm. My cats are always climbing into... So we got a, a fucking cat girl Patty Duke thing going on here. Great. So this box is heavy, so we be careful with it in regards to... Why? Because the boxes were surprisingly heavy? That, that, that's absolutely no kind of... Uh, n uh, never mind. There is no quantitative assignment here. It, it's, the boxes are relatively heavy. That is a qualitative relative judgment. So... Uh, get over your weight, girls. In any case, chocolate, vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wit's end with, these lar with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Well, I think more at the uh, contents of said boxes, but whatever. Anyhow, Chocolate and Vanilla get out, got out of their boxes. Good. <coughs> it's almost impossible to get a cat out of a box. Why is no one picking up the phone? Well, because... Just what is Shikirei doing? Oh. Oh, he was making a call. I was gonna say, you just moved somewhere by yourself. There would be nobody there to answer the phone. <laughs> there was no way that Chocolate and Vanilla couldn't have got... Or could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside... Cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls are we're closer to normal cats. 
So cat girls are closer to cats than humans are. That's fantastic analysis, Casho. After all, cats girls had ears and tails just like cats do. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Genetically modified. Oh, well, there you go. There, everybody complaining about GMO right there. These these are GMOs, and it's the the reference says the downfall of human society. Oh, but cat girls fit into society as pets and families or partners to humans. And this is really just a cat girl. Well, why why would you bother genetically modifying cats to be more human when regular cats just f will, will fill the the need? Just naturally. You could breed them normally. Why do you need cat girls? This doesn't make any sense. Sorry for Lemon has six, including chocolate and vanilla. Oh, so now they're down to four. Four. Wait, so they got. They had six cat girls? Oh my goodness. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible, for one thing. So no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigure's doing. I see, so Shigure was accomplice then. Oh, alright, so it's gonna be a, a mystery. A mystery game, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yeah! Wait, wait, did you just say Desnya? Oh my god. Desnya, yeah, she's. She's totally doing, like, way overload on the cat girl thing. Bigger than it looks. Perfect ma for Master's abilities. Um, so, does Casho have the ability to expand to five times his size? Fantastic deduction, Vanilla. Snuggling acknowledged. This is fine by me. Engage snuggling! Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves! <laughs> yeah, my, my cats are currently down with uh, flea sickness. And, uh... Oh, I have two cats. Hamlet and Mikun. Hamlet's the older one. Uh, they're actually half-brothers. They came from the same mother. And, uh, Mikun will only sit on windowsills right now because of the... because he's infested with fleas. So, and then the windowsills are very, very narrow. So, he'll... Anytime he nods off while he's sitting up there, he will fall off onto the floor. And... Thus far, he has not managed to hurt himself. Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. Well, why would they? Why would they have any ill intentions? Bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Oh, so you own the whole building? They aren't young cat girls anymore either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control so much. Ah, uh, you've obviously never been a cat owner, Casho. Well, besides that. I looked up an address in my phone's dress book. Minaduki residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything. So for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Um. Uh... Alright, those two thoughts don't connect in any way whatsoever. It wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right at this moment. I should hear from Shigure soon, anyhow. But. The... All right, Casho, I, I think you may actually be suffering from a stroke. You really should get to the hospital right now. Immediately. Oh, snuggling finished. Okay, whoa, uh, boing, boing, boing. Bed snuggle quality test complete. <laughs> Good work, you two. You made your bed hit. Um, no, not really. Oh, so now, I, now Kasho is rubbing their heads.
<clears throat> you know, these two are so like and so unlike my cats. The soft hair felt nice as always. I like bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Yeah, my well, my cats do that naturally. The, the Hamlet especially will just full-on ram his head into my shin. Well... Right, because wherever chocolate is, vanilla is also. Patty Duke, gotcha, got it. Had no choice, just tagged along, you two. Well, I figured that that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I re Well, anyway! <laughs> Get my constitution back up and look at the two of them. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. Because my family shamed me. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigeri and the other cat girls are there too. Oh, okay. It'd be better if you two just... Uh-oh. Whoa, was that me? Oh. Uh, you've got gas. It's understandable. Right, well, because you just got shipped five days through the mail and... <laughs> yeah, that was... That was not what I would classify as a cute sound. I was thinking of those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I hadn't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? Hey everyone, Angry Annie here. I'm trying really hard to keep bringing you the kind of quality salt you're looking for on the channel. You can help out by subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button. If you really like it, hit the share button and post it around on social media. It'll really go a long way towards helping out. Thanks!